Hello. Let me get these some things situated here. <laughs> Hi everybody who is joining. Yeah, I went through and um, tried to add <laughs> everybody who had just requested so y'all could jump on. So I'm gonna wait just um, a couple minutes while I get these things situated um, in case there are others that wanna jump on here. And if y'all have any questions um, before I get started, let me know and I'll try to answer them. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be making. And if y'all are going to be making it with me, I will go ahead and just kind of give y'all a minute to get y'all stuff ready. I'm just trying to, I usually do all of my like Mod Podge stuff or if I, if I use Mod Podge, which I hate using, but if I have to use it, I usually sit on my floor and do it. So doing it at a table where you guys can see is, um messing with me a little bit. Alright. Um, Alright, so I guess I'm going to just go ahead and kind of go over what you will need in case you want to make one of these later if y'all don't have all the stuff you need now. So, um, I just used a 30 ounce tumbler. Um, I just used Ozark Trail. I can just pick those up at Walmart. And um, I, I never sand my tumblers. I've never had any trouble with them. Um, I just wipe them down with alcohol and then spray them with this. Um, this Rust-Oleum bonding primer is like the best primer that I've used or spray paint that I've used. Um, <laughs> yes, Randy, tumblers are life and glitter. Um, so what I love about this is that I can spray this on my tumblers and it will literally be dry in like 30 seconds, like dry, dry in about 30 seconds. Um, it takes a little bit longer if it's really cold outside. Well, really cold. Uh, really cold is like 50 degrees here in Georgia. So if it's like 50 degrees, it might take a little bit longer. But, um, and it's hard, I mean, which is not a good thing that it's hard to get off if you need to strip a tumbler. Um, but that just means that it adheres really well, and I think. Um, so I usually just pick this up at Walmart. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. I'm trying to read some of y'all's comments. <laughs> Alright, so what I did, I just cleaned my tumbler with alcohol, and then I spray paint it with the primer. That's the first thing that you need. Then, you're obviously going to need glitter. Um, so what I usually do um, this is what I do for my paintings is that I look, basically Google images of geodes. Um, like if I want my painting to be a purple geode or a blue geode or a pink geode, then <clears throat> I'll Google pink geode or purple geode. And I um, find one that I really like and then kind of follow the pattern of the 
like the interior lines. So like for this one, for example, I found a geode that looked kind of like this and I just separated the lines and I just draw them on my cup. Hang on, I'm trying to read some. Yes, um, Jillian, this is, I never, the, this is the only thing that I um, prime my cups with ever. Um, I found this like maybe a year ago or so, maybe not quite that long ago, but I found this and then I will never use another thing ever again. Like sometimes I have to drive to like three different Walmarts just to find it, but it's that good. I really, really like it. Um, because yeah, some spray paint, I don't know, it just comes out weird, I guess. And this one comes out really, really nice. And also Rust-Oleum, that's the only spray paint that I use too. I don't really like Krylon, how it comes out, but I mean, I know everybody's gonna be different, but I just prefer Rust-Oleum. And yeah, I don't use, um, if I ever want a cup to have like a white base on it, this is what I use to spray it with, not regular spray paint. Um, all right, so you'll need glitter. Um, Mod Podge. I just use regular Mod Podge. Um, a couple different size brushes. These are just kind of what I use because some of your lines might be thicker, some of them might be thinner, like, you know, like these are really thin lines, this purple, whereas, you know, this white one is thicker, so you'll need a smaller brush for that. Um, then for the chunkies, so like for this part, I gotta wait kind of for the video because I know there's a delay. I have to be sure that y'all can see what I'm pointing to. Um, so like this part or like these chunky parts, I actually use um, crushed glass. Um, so sometimes they come in bags like this and I don't, I don't even know what the brand is of it because I ripped it off. Um, they have different colors too. This one's just pink. I'll probably be using some of that today. And then I'm not sure if they changed the containers, but last time when I had to pick up some more just clear glass, um, it came in this. And this is Ashland. Um, you can find these in the vase filler sections um, at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Or you can go to the dollar store and buy cheap wine glasses and smash them up with a hammer which I've done that before too so whatever works whatever materials you can find um, and then I also use some chunky glitter like this one is just chunky glitter really chunky glitter um, and then for the next step um, this is all for the first step for the next step after you put epoxy on to make these little lines and everything you're gonna need some different pins these are just ones that I use for my painting, so I already had them, but this one, I mean, they're just, where is my thin sharpie? Oh, I don't know where it is, I'm missing it. Hang on. I'm trying to find stuff. I thought that I had. Well, I don't know where my black one is. But I have another one. Um, so these are just pins and markers that I have. This one is um, like recollections. I think this came in a pack of three. Um, they're just like markers, basically. Ah, so I can hold on to it. Oh my gosh. I'm dropping everything. Um, Um, how many glitters do I need? Oh yeah, hang on. Let me get it for you. Here, I'll hold it up. <laughs> Let me know when you've taken a screenshot of it. Um, and for how many glitters I use? Um, usually for the glass, I just use like one or like a mixture of one and good job. 
Um, and for the glitters, it just kind of depends. Like for this one, I used one, two, three, four, five for the geode part. And then one for like, th this is like the out, you know, like the stone ulterior, the rock part, I guess. Um, this one, I just mixed some glitter to get this color. So, I mean, you can use however many you want. I think for this one that I'm going to do today, it might be more than five colors. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you're welcome. Um, I'm trying to catch, um, comments as they scroll, but they kind of disappear now, which is kind of cool, but then I can't see them. Um, so these are the pins again that I use. Their recollections. I think they're from Michael's. Um, these are just like, I guess they're just like regular markers. I don't know. They look like Sharpies when I write with them, but I don't know if they are or not. And then I have paint pens that I use also. Um, no, it's not heavy. I mean, it's no heavy than a regular glitter cup. I mean, because the stones aren't, I mean, it's maybe like an ounce of stones total. Um, and I use paint pens. You can use regular paint if you feel comfortable using regular paint. Um, and then I use like very fine tip Sharpies. I have a purple one and I have a pink one and I have a black one. And these are what I use to go in and do like, um, like this detailed work. I'm trying to see if y'all can see it. Like all of this stuff. It's not really focusing very well, but the purple in here and then like the black, just the fine lines, that's what I use the Sharpies for or to outline like the glitter and stuff. Um, um, maybe. I've never used Cricut pens, but I'm sure that they would work fine. I mean, anything that you can draw on epoxy with because I go over it with Mod Podge before I put my final layer of epoxy on um, so it doesn't run or bleed or anything so um oh yeah let's see and then this one I have gold leaf that I use for my painting so I'm gonna try to put some of that on my tumblers today and like the interior we'll see how that goes this is really a pain to work with but I really like it and then this I also use for my painting so I might try to use some of this today too <laughs> but this is glass glitter from Recollections. So, let's see. Mm, Tiffany, I can't help you with that one. I don't I don't think any of my spray paint has cracked. There you go. There's your answer. Um All right. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, if y'all have questions that you think I'm forgetting before I start, then let me know. <laughs> oh, I need a piece of paper. So my glitter cup. So I'm going to put my pins away because I'm not going to be using them right now. Or not away. We're just going to move them. So today I figured that I would do a rose gold one. Or like pinky gold one. So I'll show y'all what I did too. So I'm probably going to make a few more lines on this too. Um, so this is my tumbler. And y'all can see that I just kind of sketch out. Can y'all see? I guess you can. It's really the light that's not focusing really well. Y'all can kind of see that. Um. Oh no. All right. So what I do is I just kind of make um a design like what I think a geode would look like or a picture that I find of a real geode and just kind of follow the same tracks and then just make the same outline like a little bit larger and I did the same thing over here um, 
So the interior part is where you're going to have like, is where I did like my chunky stuff. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more to this one, but that's where I had like chunky glitter and like some glass pieces and all that kind of stuff. Cause that's like the crystal part of it. Um, so, <clears throat> <laughs> um, so I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. So, um, I might do one more. I have a lot of colors that I want to use for this one, but I'm not sure they're all going to fit on here. And this is literally like the same thing that I do with my um, paintings. I outline everything first and then I go back in and I actually paint. Um, I'm probably going to delete that one. I actually paint my lines on my um, painting and then go back over it with epoxy that has been tinted. But for this, we're just going to use Mod Podge and um, glitter. And I will tell you guys, like, it, it's not going to look very good until it's all finished. It's the same way with um, the paintings. Like, after you do this step, you're going to think, oh, I don't know if it really looks that great. But it's all the fine lines and the detailing that really kind of pulls it together because all these lines that you're going to do after it's been epoxied is what's really going to make it pop. Um, so we're going to leave that there. Um, so I, so for my interior crystals, I mixed some pink and clear glass. So we're going to use that for like the sparkly stuff. Um, so I'm, I have like light pinks, browns, rose golds, different shades of whites, um, all that that we're going to use today. Some of these colors I haven't used, so I hope that they look good like once they're on the tumbler actually. So um, I'm just going to start applying some stuff. So the first one, um, we're going to start with the lightest color, which is arabesque from Pamper Your Princess and I got this one on Etsy. I've used this one just a couple times. So I'm just going to, well that was too much. I'm just going to basically go in with my Mod Podge. and paint one section at a time. And with Mod Podge, you wanna make sure it's all smooth so you don't see the lines underneath. And when you're making your outline um, for your little like sections, you don't need it to be perfect um, since you're gonna go back over and cover it with glitter anyway. Just bang it off a little bit. And then once I have it on there, I just kind of go around um, the next layer and get all the glitter off of, or the next little section, and get all the glitter off of that area. Oh, you're sticking to my brush. And you can switch up your colors too. They don't have all have to be, you know, perfect. I don't know which one I'm gonna do next. Maybe I think I'm gonna do this one is a rose gold opal from Peachy Olive. So 
So the skinnier the lines, the more precise your brush will need to be. And these that, you know, these are just some brushes that I've had forever when I used to do more paintings. But you can pick them up at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any of those places. And then you're just going to And also, like, don't worry too much if your glitter is, um, if it overlaps your layers. Because, again, like, you're going to go back and detail it with your pen. So, and some of these, like, I'll have to go over twice, like this one since it's pretty light. I'll probably have to go over it again. But it's pretty. Ooh. I'm not used to working in such a small space, guys. bag of brushes. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure that I have some of those too that would come in handy. <laughs> Alright, so the next one I'm going to use is Silk from Peachy Olive. It's a really pretty color too. It's like a color shift um, pink. Pink and white. So I really like it. Mm, I'm trying to think. I'm just going to go ahead and get it. Y'all, I never, never used Mod Podge, but this was the only way I could think to get the colors on here. So, gotta use it. this off and then I'll show y'all. Um, this one, the one that I just used is Silk by Peachy Olive. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if y'all can see it really good in the video, but it's really pretty. It's like a white, um, it's like a pink to white like color shift. And in the sun, it's so pretty. It's one of my favorite colors to use. This one and Lost for Words from Peachy Olive, which I'm also going to use on this one. probably going to do a darker color now. I think I'm going to use, I'm going to do this one. This one is Burnt Umber by PDB Blinks and Glitter. And they are one of my newest favorite glitter suppliers. If y'all have not checked them out, they're awesome. And yes, they do come in shakers and they're labeled. So that is like a double plus.
So y'all can see like as the geode goes out, like the larger my glitter lines are getting. Go ahead and do this side so my Mod Podge does not crack. I think this one's gonna look really pretty. I love rose gold anything, so you know. This one is just for fun. Um, Rachel. Um, this one, like, so usually what I'll do when I do geode paintings or, oh, I think I missed some of this. Um, when I do like paintings or like when I did um, the first cup, I just Google images of whatever color geode I want to do. So I'll just Google like, you know, pink geode or purple geode, and I'll look at how the colors are in a real geode, and then I'll replicate them a little bit in, um, in my paintings or tumblers. Um, I mean, it might not necessarily be the same exact colors, but um, it'll just be like the shades that are similar. So they might go like light pink to dark pink, um, but they're all different. I mean, so you'll just have to find one that you like. And I don't know if I already said, but this one is just for fun. Um, because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a purple one or a rose gold one first. And I did a purple one and then everybody was like in love with it and wanted a tutorial. So it just gave me an excuse to make another one. Alright, oh, so this one, what I'm going to use next is Lost for Words. It's also like a pinky color shift from Peachy Olive. I'll hold it up there for a little longer so you guys can see. But this is one of my favorite glitters to use, this color. I probably should have used my bigger brush for this one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
glitter shaker does not want to stay open. So that's what that one looks like. It's really pretty. Yes, the, the teal, teal is also on my list. <laughs> I think I might need to get um, a couple of different colors. I'm not sure. I have a couple, but um, a lot of them are chunky glitters, and I think I need a couple more fine glitters. And that's what you'll notice too. Like most of these glitters that I'm using are fine glitters are not chunky but you can probably use chunky too I'm not sure what I'm going to use for my last color. I need to open them and look. I might use this one. <laughs> it's not really very clean. <laughs> if you zoomed in, you would see it's covered with glitter, alcohol, ink, glue, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> All right, you're gonna help me decide what I wanna do. All right, so this is what it looks like now. And I, I don't know if I wanna use a rose gold or this. Let me, I'm just gonna pour it in a container. So this is Pandora from um, PDB Blank. I'll slow down a little bit. All right, so this is Pandora from um, PDB Blanks, which is super pretty. I think that I might do that one. Oh no, and now it's all stuck into the... Now it won't come out, y'all. <laughs> all right, so I can either use that one for the last layer, or I'm just gonna pour it in here. Or like another rose gold. This is Rich Rose. Use Pandora. Pandora. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go with Pandora. Yeah, I haven't used that one yet, so. I'm excited to try it. Alright, y'all. Let me... I'm blowing off some of the excess. I know I'll have to go back and fix some of the layers because you know, lovely Mod Podge. All right, um, I'm gonna use my bigger brush for this one. All right, Pandora. This is my first time using her.
want it one side. Oh, I need to get my pull needle. Super pretty. So Pandora is like a glitter mix of like shards, hexagons, circles, stars, fine, chunky, like it's really pretty. I like it. Let me brush it off and then I'll show you all this side. So that's what Pandora looks like. It was really, really pretty. I like it. Yeah. It is. It's really, really pretty. Yeah, she has it on her website. Are you talking are you talking about the shoes that I made? If you're talking about those the glitter boots, yes, I am still using them. All right, let me do the other side. Oh, my chunks, the glass shards. Yeah, I'm gonna use those. That's just part of the second, um, the second part. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, I do, like my most popular painting is a purple geode. And I had a customer comment on it asking, hey, could you make a tumbler in, in this design? I was like, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> but I tried it and it looked really good. I got you now. Okay. Yeah. I was confused, apparently. Yes. The, um, yeah, I didn't know what they were called. But, yeah, the, um, the, the plastic rubber ends, yeah, I still have those. I need to buy some more. I still only have three of them. Alright, so... That's what it looks like for now. I'm gonna go in probably with the brown, this, the burnt umber, and then the rose gold opal, and probably do another coat, um, cause you can really see the white through them. And we don't want that. That's why I hate working with Mod Podge. It dries so, so quick, but. Thank you, Amanda. So, let me, uh, all right, rose gold opal. So, I'm just going to go in real quick and do, and just, um, do some touch-ups where, where, like, some little bare spots are. And like I said before, like your lines do not have to be perfect. Um, you're going to go in and and detail your lines after you have epoxy on it. So don't worry about if, you know, they might not be exactly how you want because you can change that with the paint pens.
Moment, meine Mühe. So, I mean, yeah, these do definitely take, like, more time than just throwing some glitter on. I don't know why I'm shaking it. Like, I gotta mix it up. It's glitter. Um, so, yeah, it does take a little bit more time than a regular glitter tumbler. But, it's, I mean, I think that it's worth it. I think that they're super, super pretty. Um... <laughs> I have uh, lots of glitter in my Mod Podge. I, I very rarely use it, so I don't really care what happens to it. I mean, I used to like pour it into smaller containers, but like literally the only thing that I use Mod Podge for is the pencil tumbler. And now, now these. So who went out this morning and got stuff to make one of these? I want to know who's making them with me. Um, thank you. Yeah, this is the first one that I had. Um, hang on, I'm trying to read. Does it take more layers of epoxy? Um, I mean, not... I don't think so. I mean, once you have everything on there, like, the first layer of epoxy really kind of smooths everything out. So, I mean... And y'all, it's not going to be 100% smooth if you if you want to add the chunky to it. Um, like, you don't have to add that stuff to it, but I don't mind the texture on my tumblers. Um, and I've made some that have, like, clay on them. Um, like, the dragon scales that I do are 3D. So I don't mind a little bit of texture on my tumblers. <laughs> it's okay. Um, uh, oh man, I didn't undo it. I'm trying to read, read, um, comments. So you made your first pencil. <laughs> Pencils, I used to hate doing them, but now I don't really mind them so much. Alright, let me blow this off over here. Yeah, and that's my problem, y'all. Like, I have orders to do, too, but I'd rather make things that I want to. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> You're at church watching. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, are you talking about this seller, guys? Go join her group. Um, her name is Susanna, and she's actually in our group, too. But she, um, I don't know why I'm holding it that way. Like, y'all can't even see it. This one is um, pdbblanksandglitter.com. And... <laughs> I 
um, yeah, I just stumbled across her page. I don't even know how I found it. I think that somebody had posted a video in um, a group that used her glitter. And I'd never heard of her glitter before, so I went to check it out. And love it. Um, it is it is a little bit more than like peachy olive um, and yaya's and things like that, but it's definitely worth it. Every color that I've purchased, I love. Like this one, this cup is all her glitter too. Um, this one is pumpkin spice, burnt umber, and then I mix some Perseus in. It's like a holographic gold that's really pretty. But this is all her her glitter. I really, really like it. <laughs> yes. It's addicting, the glitter. It can add up so much. Elizabeth, don't be scared to try them. I mean... I'm pretty sure that everybody was scared to, to try epoxy at first, but I mean, once you do it a couple of times, like it's so easy. It, I mean, it really is. It's just, uh, I, I really like it. And I do like tons of different crafts. I do paintings. I do, um, like I bling different items. Um, like I do so much stuff, but I really, really like doing tumblers cause they're all so different. Um, all right, so this is what it's gonna look like for now. I'm trying to blow. I'll I'll get rid of the rest of the glitter, like once the or the excess glitter, like once the Mod Podge dries. So this is one side, and then we'll have to do the other side. <laughs> oh, my nose is itchy, guys. Um, I need to get my pull noodle though, because I can't hold that side. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're right, Amanda. That's what we're all here for, to help. And uh, plus, like, if you mess up a tumbler, you can strip it and start over. Like, that's uh, what's great about it. I mean, I've stripped so many tumblers that I just didn't like how they turned out, so I just basically started over. So you're not really wasting anything. I mean, a little bit of epoxy and glitter, but not a whole tumbler. You can just redo it. All right, so I'm just going to basically follow the same pattern. So this is the, the pattern that I created on the other side. It's not exactly like this one, but it's close to it. Um, so you basically just start on the other side and do the same way. I really like that Pandora. I keep seeing it sparkle in my phone. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna start and I'm just gonna use the same interior color. which is arabesque and this lady she doesn't even have a group I don't think or she does but I think she sells like bows and stuff also um, but her glitter is really pretty I, I purchased a lot of it um, for a custom order a girl wanted a lot of like pastel colors and there really aren't a whole lot of pastel colors out there but this um, woman had a lot of them and she had really good prices too. Let's see, my next color was rose gold opal. I have to be sure to put my caps on all of my glitter because I don't know if y'all saw my post yesterday, but I had two glitters open at the same time 
and went to go dump um, my paper or the glitter that was on my paper back into the glitter container and I totally dumped it in the wrong one. And now my brush is covered in Mod Podge. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll do similar. Yeah, on both geodes, I'll do the same colors. I think I did that on the other one. Or if I don't do the same colors, I'll do them similar. Or I might do the same colors, but maybe like a slightly different pattern. But it's just kind of personal preference. You can do different ones if you want. Maybe a little. It is the relaxing, y'all. Like, that's why I don't mind doing this. Because, one, you get to play with glitter. And, two, you're just basically, like, painting. Which is something that I really enjoy doing. Alright, the next one is going to be silk. Oh, I can just... So yeah, you're just going to alternate your different colors, and I I do I like to go from like darker to lighter. I probably would have used a couple different colors on my purple one, but I really don't have that much purple glitter. I realized I have a lot of white glitter. <laughs> Does anybody else have like a ridiculous amount of white glitter that some they haven't even used? I'm like, why do I have all this white glitter? But all of it's really pretty. Yeah, Sarah, I just kind of mix it up um, with each layer. Most of my, so I usually do chunky for the middle, for like the crystal part of it. Um, and then I usually use fine glitter for the different layers. Um, and Katie, if you're looking for just like a white glitter, it doesn't really have a whole lot of like sparkle but it's like it reminds me of snow but it's flurries from PG olive glitter I don't know if you have that one but it's a it's like my go-to white glitter if I just want white and not a whole lot of sparkle but I have lots of glitter like like this like silk um, and then I have another one that's very similar that's called nookie from PG olive also Um, yes, I do seal. Yeah. 
Yeah, Victoria, I'll definitely do that with y'all. Um, hang on. Yes, I do seal after the colors um, because I'll also add like chunky mixes, you'll see, after I get all the glitter on there. Hey, Jennifer. I should have tagged you. Um, and do I have a process for how I choose my colors? So what I do, um, I was saying earlier, is that I usually decide like what color I'm going to do. And then I will Google um, a geode in that color. So for this one, I just Googled pink geode and looked for a couple different patterns that I liked and then chose my glitter colors based on that. Like they might not have had browns in them, but I follow the same tone. So I'll go from like, like I'll choose like a couple light colored glitters that I want to use and a couple dark colored glitters that I want to use. And um, then I'll just kind of line them up like in a row and see what colors I want, um, like what order I want to put them in before I actually put them on my tumbler. And even after I decide like what, um, what order I want them to go in, like sometimes it still changes. You're still sick from the kid germs? Maybe it's not just kid germs and you actually caught something. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> well, I really hope that you're not dying. Have you gone to the doctor yet, or are you just going to write it out? <laughs> yeah, y'all. I don't know if a, a lot of y'all know, um, but I used to be a pre-K teacher also. And I would get sick all the time from the kid germs. It was the worst. I don't know why. Like every month I would have something. Coffee and cough drops. No problem, Sarah. I figured I would help y'all because I don't know. Like some of these Tumblr groups are kind of, I don't know. I don't like them. So I try to help where I can, where I think that other people might not. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I have a sweet voice of a teacher until my teacher voice comes out. And then they know I mean business. <laughs> No, all of y'all are sick. That's no fun. I I have to say that since I since I quit teaching, I um have not gotten sick once, I don't think. Except with maybe like a sinus infection or something. So this one, I'm only going to do one, two, three, four, five layers, where the other one I think was six. So I'm just going to finish this one with Pandora too. 
because I think that's one of my new newest favorite glitters. <laughs> Motiv motivational speaking. No, I'm good. You can keep your germs. All right, we'll finish with Pandora. So does anybody else just like blow glitter all over their office <laughs> like I do? I probably shouldn't do that, but I don't know how else to like get it off without like brushing it and then I don't really want to do that. Because the Mod Podge might not be dry. You do? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone. Yeah, I can vacuum my office and like one day later, there's like glitter everywhere again. And Pandora. Yeah, this one is really pretty. I really want to make another tumbler just with this glitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm like randomly laughing because I'm reading y'all's comments. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I luckily just have a room in our house because we have a three-bedroom house and it's just me and my husband. So we have one guest bedroom and then this one is for me. Where like all four of my office walls are covered with something. I have like a shipping station on one wall. I have my Turner and my Cricut on one wall. Then I have tumblers on one wall. Um, and spray paint. So this Pandora is, um, I think it's Pandora, or it might be the Burnt Umber, I'm not sure. One of them is really fine, and I have uh, glitter like all over me. Look y'all, can y'all see that? I gotta wait. <laughs> I'll show you what I fill the empty space with. You see all those sparkles? Like that is literally all over me and my legs. I'm gonna need to take a shower after this. Um, well, Victoria, I mean, I just really focused on it for a good, like, year and a half, um, and researched, like, how to d make your business successful and all that kind of stuff, so, and just don't give up when you think that you're never going to make another sale again. <laughs> Um, yep, 
and y'all can all get there. If I can do it, y'all can do it, y'all. I was teaching when I really started focusing on my business. So I would work from like seven to three every day, then come home and do lesson plans and then work on orders until like midnight or later until I eventually surpassed my teaching income and decided to focus on my business full time. So y'all can do it. Um, all right, so for the negative space, I need y'all's opinion. <laughs> all right, so I have two options that I can do. I mixed this earlier. Um, I need like another little cup. I'm gonna have to like wash all of these. These are what I use for my crystals, not even for glitter. All right, so for my background, for the negative space on this tumbler, I can either do it this color, which is um, like a grayish black mixed with silver, or I can do it this color, which is like the grayish black mixed with brown and rose gold. I don't know if y'all can really see that on the video. I guess you can. What color do you like the silver one? What do all you guys think? I can either do this one or the silver. So it makes them holding up brown and rose gold. That's what I was thinking to match the um match the colors in the Tumblr. Well, it is pretty light. Like, y'all can't, it's a little bit lighter than the video is showing. Like, I don't know. It's, oh, now all the glitter is not coming out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looks black, like, on the video, but I swear it's not. It's like, let me see if I can hold it up closer. See, it's like a brownish. It's more of like a rose goldy. <laughs> These videos are terrible. It's so hard to try to like hold something up to a camera that like you can't see and has a delay. It's great. It's great. All right, I'm gonna try to do it, do it this color. We'll see how it looks once it's on the tumbler. Oh, hang on, I think I need to go back. Just kidding. I need to go back and fix those other two colors, so I have to wait a second. It's the rose gold opal and then the burnt umber that take like two coats. I don't know why. The other ones look fine. But I need to go do my touch-ups for this one because the Mod Podge dried a little bit, I guess, when I was applying it. Pour this on. Oh, it's kind of stuck. Sounds good, Amanda. Yeah, you can watch the rest later. I'll, I'll just post it to the wall. Um, Pandora 
Sarah is P, P, I get the, <laughs> it's P, D, B, blanks, and glitter. This is Pandora. Um, Victoria, I don't ever strip those. Some people do, I don't. I just prime them. I've used lots of powder-coated um, tumblers and I don't ever have an issue with them. Some people strip them, I think, with acetone. But I don't, I don't think that it's something you have to do because I've never had issues. One more line and then we can do the blank space. And y'all, it really doesn't take as long as I'm as I'm taking. I've stopped to like read comments and all kinds of stuff. So once you do one it won't be as hard. You won't have to focus so much on like what you're doing, I guess. Now we're gonna do the blank space. I'm just gonna do like one section and y'all can let me know if you like it. <laughs> um, everything you need to do a tumbler, like any, any kind of tumbler, is actually, I created a document um, and it's in the files section of the group. So you can go to the files. I, I forgot what I titled it, maybe like getting started or something like that. Um, but yeah, I list like everything you need to get started with tumblers. Ah, man, I dropped my paintbrush. Now I have Mod Podge on everything. Okay, I'm just going to start, oh shoot, I almost dropped it guys, that was, oh god. <laughs> Alright, let me see the best way to do this, I think I'm just going to hold it right here for now. Um, Alright, I'm just going to do a little bit and we're going to see if this color looks good. Is there anybody out there that actually likes using Mod Podge? <laughs> um, my shards of glass I get at um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby in the vase filler section.
Alright, so this is what this color looks like, guys. You think it's too rose goldy? Should I add more silver? You do like it? I like it. Some, like, when you shift it, it kind of, like, some spots it looks more black and some parts it looks more brown. So, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, Jennifer, I don't care for it either. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll do this. Let me grab it. That's like the only thing that's like super awkward is like once you have the, the um, like the geode part on, it's so hard to like just grab this with your hands, you know? I thought about um, doing like the base layer first, but then I thought, well, you wouldn't really be able to draw your geode lines on it unless you use like a paint pen or something maybe this noodle I really need a little no I don't <laughs> yeah <laughs> need man hands um no I don't seal them um before I do this part I seal the tumbler before I epoxy And this mixture, I think, was a mixture of burnt umber, rose gold opal, Batman from Peachy Olive, Rifleman's Creed from Peachy Olive. Uh, I think that's all. I was just like throwing colors together. I know, I should have grabbed a football. I just didn't even think about it. Let me try to do this last little bit in one.
And then these mixes, um, I'll probably just keep them for next time. Um, so I won't have to like recreate it again. And then I just add to it. All right, let me see. Let me put this down. I like how this one is turning out, y'all. All right, so now. Yeah, I want. Yeah, autumn. I just kind of, yeah, I'll just say what um, I said earlier. Like, for how I decide my colors is I just Google, like, colors or, like, a geode. So, if I knew this one I wanted to do a pink geode, I Googled pink geode and um, looked how the colors were and how they alternated, like, just a one that I liked. And then I chose colors to match the tone of the geode. Not necessarily the exact colors, just the tone. Let me... I'm just blowing off as much excess as, as I can. Um, and yeah, the bottom on these I do last because I'm going to go and put, oh my goodness. I'm going to go put the chunky stuff on. And so it's going to be sitting like this a lot and I don't want the glitter to come off. Um, so... These cups, I asked in my VIP group yesterday where, where all my customers are, and they said that I should charge between 65 and 70 So I listed them at 65 plus shipping. And this is just for Ozark Trail, not even a Yeti. No problem, Autumn. Yeah, I'll do the bottom last. Yeah, Victoria, I mean, the supplies aren't, like, if you're just starting out, just go to the Dollar Tree and get a Dollar Tree cup. They they have stainless steel tumblers there. And then you can just get, um, like, epoxy from Michael's or Hobby Lobby, the Illumilite they have, which is something cheap that you can, um, something cheap that you can use if, if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on, like, a gallon of epoxy. All right, um, let me get my stuff. All right, I'm going to see how I'm going to do this first. Where is my piece? Oh, there we go. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is the, um, I'm trying to hold this so you guys can see. I might have to move my iPad a little bit. Hang on, guys. Bear with me while I... Oh, my iPad is messing up. Ugh. So my arm for my holder is like super, super annoying. Alright, let me see. I think that's gonna probably work best for this next part. I think. <laughs> We're gonna try this. All right, so what I do, yeah, 65. That's what um, my customers suggested that I charge for one like this. I do live in Georgia. Oh, awesome. I live in Buford Cumming area. I know my youngest brother um, just graduated high school and he has some friends that go to college down in Statesboro. So they went down to Savannah and had a good old time. <laughs> no problem. Um, so for this next part, this is a mix of pink and clear of the shards. So I'm just going to take like a good bit of Mod Podge and just kind of like dab it on. Just 
so you want it to be not like I mean I guess it's pretty like a thick layer of Mod Podge and then you're just going to take them I'm gonna have glitter all over me guys I'm so not used to like ah. and glass apparently and like these little shards they're not like you know very sharp so they're not gonna like cut you or anything and then I just kind of like oh my gosh <laughs> I need to switch needles um so I'll just kind of like push them down into the into the Mod Podge if they don't stick to me first so that's how I did if y'all can't see me I think y'all can Um, this one, well, it's not going to be like 100% flat. Um, the shards are from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm in North Georgia, like coming Buford area, like 30 miles north of Atlanta. Um, so this one has had two, well, y'all can't see that now. <laughs> Let me hold it. I'm going to see if y'all can see. So this one has had two layers of epoxy. And y'all can see it's still just like kind of sticking up. But it's nothing that's going to like cut anybody. Like they're all covered. It's just... Uh, like see, it's just like a little bump. And like here are these... So I'll probably do like one more layer of epoxy on this one just to like cover it again but I mean they're pretty, I mean it's pretty smooth it's just it has a little bit of texture to it which I don't mind. So then what I'll do is just kind of, um, it's the same way I do my paintings. I just kind of like pick an area and put some glass or just chunky stuff just to give it some texture. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit like right here. And just kind of like the same thing. I mean, you can just place it by hand if you want or just shake them on. <laughs> and then just hold it up and let the excess fall. And then I just kind of like push them into place. And then um, I do spray seal this so it helps keep the stones in place while epoxy is being applied. Let's see here. And we'll probably do some right here. So I usually do like 
one um, one like glass line on each on each side. And then just kind of like pop them down. And um, I know like sometimes it might be kind of hard to tell that there's glass on there, but like I said, all, you'll detail it in, um, after epoxy is on it. So I'm just going to let those dry for a minute. What method do I apply epoxy? What do you mean? You mean like, do I do like a really thin layer or just a thick layer? I just do a thick layer. <laughs> I just put it on a turner and pour the epoxy on. Y'all, I know, look at my hands. My gosh, they're covered in glass. And I just wiped my face, so I know that's probably all over my face too. Yay. So the Mod Podge dries pretty quickly with the glass on it, or it'll dry enough to where the glass um, sticks to it. Um, and you might have some stones that fall off as it dries, and that's fine. I mean, you don't need like a whole whole lot of them. You just need enough for some texture. Um, and then I'm probably gonna put like I have these. Ah, where's my camera? Um, these are just like chunky pink stones that I thought would kind of look cool on here. So we're gonna do that. And I might, should I do silver or no? I don't have like a chunky, like silver or gold. I just have these that I used for this part. I don't know if I should do them on this or if the color would clash. You do think I should use them? I might use them anyway. Let me get some of these. So I'm just gonna put some of these light pink ones over here. And these are, I think they're from Yaya's. Yeah, I'm going to do gold leaf too. So I might just do the gold leaf because I don't want it to. Too um, busy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Where's my mix? I'm just gonna pour this one in here. This will go into my dump dump glitter jar. There's too many colors. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side really quick and then I'll um, probably add the gold leaf because gold leaf is super messy. Oh, I forgot about these too. I might do these on the other one. This is the glass glitter. Let's see. Let me switch it around. I know it's like super close, y'all. Oops. Oh, slowly. I'm trying to like raise it up a little bit for y'all. This thing is super, super hard to move around. Yeah, this is the glass glitter. Recollections. I know the lighting is terrible. But it's glass. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Hang on. Alright, that might be better. Ooh. 
No problem. All right. So, oh my gosh. I need to get a mug or something. Oh. Whatever. We're just going to stick with this for now. All right, so I'm going to put some more of the glass. It's a lot harder to sprinkle glass on the tumbler than it is glitter. <laughs> ah. So I'm just kind of picking up like I mean, so when you get this glass mixture, or if you have some already, it's a, like some pieces are really, really big and other pieces are not very big at all. So I just kind of pick up the smaller pieces and just kind of push them into where I can see like some Mod Podge. Um, yep. All right, let's see. I'm just going to... Do a little Thank you. And some more glass. <laughs> See, I'm like that's like a really big piece that I don't want on there. So we're just gonna take it off. Okay, um, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put some of this on the other side. We're going to try it and see how it works. Maybe between the brown and the Pandora. I haven't used this on a tumbler before, but it looks really pretty on my paintings. So, we shall see. Yeah, the glass glitter is just kind of like shards of, I don't know, glass, I guess. I don't know. It's hard, though. But that looks pretty. I like that. This lighting is so terrible, guys. Sorry. But it's really pretty. All right. Let me move this. This is going into my dump jar too. We're gonna have a glass in there now. <laughs> um. Okay, so now we're gonna try the gold leaf, I guess. Um, so gold leaf is like super 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 fine and sticky um, and I usually have to use like toothpicks to um, to get it out so or to to play with it really um, let's see I'm thinking that I might do the gold leaf like in between this layer what do y'all think do you think I should do it like here? I 
think that that's what I'm going to go for. I got to move this back. Oh, on glass. Get out of here, glass. Let me get a piece out. So, this is the coffin. It's pretty ridiculous. It'll stick to you. Um, like, they're so thin. Like, see? And this is probably like two sheets, actually. Yeah, it might just be one. Ugh. But see, like, it's already sticking to me. I've used two picks. Get off of me. So a lot of times I get it on my nails and it see, it just like sticks to it. Alright. Let me get my fine brush. Um, and gold leaf, it does not take a whole lot of whatever you're using to like stick it. It sticks really well. Um, my brush is kind of dry. Dang it. Alright, let me get my... I tried to do this where you guys can see too. So I'm just kind of going to stick it on there and then I'll hold it up for you guys. If you've ever worked with the gold leaf, you know how annoying it is. <laughs> yeah, free manicure. So, that's what it will look like. It's really pretty. I actually really like that. Do you think I should go all the way around with it? Around that whole circle? <laughs> Thanks, Neely. I try, I try. I just try to make pretty things. Alright, I'm gonna put some Mod Podge and add some more gold leaf. I might put some too at the top um, to have like more of a contrast between the Pandora and the Burnt Umber. 